When we look at early human settlements, long before civilization, we find things like obsidian turning up hundreds of miles from where it was mined. In other words, trade was crossing vast distances. Well, now multiply that by all of the modern means of communication, heaven's container ships, the holds of jumbo jets, and food that would have been impossible to transport previously because they didn't have sufficient value, suddenly become accessible all over the world. We get winter strawberries. We never use to before. We used to have to wait until summer. And some people say, oh, we should have buy stuff closer to home because there are food miles in those strawberries. No, no. Other countries with warmer climates get free energy from the sun and they can provide us with, with goods that have a smaller footprint than if we had to grow them in glass houses in our own countries. Some people complain about this. They say, oh, it's taken away the excitement of waiting for summer strawberries and winter parsnips. That's what global globalization does. It gives us things we couldn't access previously. It's given us something else as well. It's given us access to fairly low-cost products made all over the world. We've effectively brought one billion low-wage earners into the world market, into the world economy. The result is they've been able to enrich their lives in ways never before dreamed of. The chance of their lives, the chance to rise above a starvation and subsistence economy. Now, some people invoking protectionism say we shouldn't be outsourcing these jobs. Ah, yes, but look, a company like Apple manufactures most of its products in the developing world. Fine, so we get access to good quality products cheaply made. Do remember that most of every dollar that Apple makes from the sale of its products stays in developed countries. These are the jobs in design, in marketing, in advertising, in promotion, in retailing. In general, we've been outsourcing manufacture and, and now we tend to be doing more service jobs in developed countries. They're cleaner and safer and some people say, well, we're just, we're just putting risks, the dirty and dangerous jobs, you know, into the developing countries. Some people look back in horror at the early Industrial Revolution, at the cramped tenements that people lived in to service the first factories. Those cramped tenements were a considerable step up on the conditions people had had to endure previously. The squalid life on the farm, the early deaths, the disease, the starvation. No, industrialization was a step up and it is the same for people today in developing countries. It is an improvement in their quality of life and in the opportunities that life presents. Those jobs are better and safer than what they were doing before. And the first thing anyone does who gets a job with a Western company is to put down the names of their relatives to try and get them the next jobs that come. It is a step up. Globalization means more than strawberries in winter. It means an opportunity for everybody to advance their standard of living. It's an opportunity for people in developed countries to become richer by getting their goods cheaper. It's an opportunity, an even bigger opportunity, for people in the developing world to have access to the world economy and to improve their own standard of living beyond measure. Globalization benefits everybody. And that is a very good thing. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.